A new ship will sail from Aberdeen tomorrow as part of a billion pounds project to lay high voltage cabling between Caithness and Murray. The NKT Victoria will connect renewable energy production in the far north with the national grid, as David Shanks reports. Preparing to set sail, the NKT Victoria leaves Aberdeen for its maiden voyage tomorrow to lay high voltage cabling linking Noss Head in Caithness to Port Gordon in Murray. The £1.1 billion project will see 113 kilometres of cabling placed at the bottom of the Murray Firth, connecting renewable energy developments in the Highlands to the national grid. A major milestone on what is a huge project for us. It is the biggest project being delivered by Scottish and Southern Electricity Networks and it's also the biggest project across the entire Scottish and Southern Electricity Group. The project itself will allow us to open the door for clean renewable energy generated in the north of Scotland to be transmitted efficiently to Scotland and onwards to, to the rest of the UK. Jutting out from the deck of the Victoria is the enormous cable turntable. Now below me is 56 kilometres of cabling. The ship itself has a capacity to carry 10,000 tonnes worth. To minimise damage on the seabed, the cable is guided by this state-of-the-art ROV. Monitored using high-tech live imaging systems on the bridge, it must be placed precisely within a pre-dug trench on the seafloor. This is the state-of-the-art technology that we've got on board this vessel. This is really is cutting-edge stuff. Um, this, to the point of uh, some of the software is actually still being written as we uh, do the vessel. Um, we can actually look at the cable laying as it's done in 3D. Victoria leaves Aberdeen tomorrow to begin its work in Caithness. SSE expect the project to be complete in 2018, enabling a further 1.2 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity, enough to power three quarters of a million homes to connect to the national grid. David Shanks, STV News, Aberdeen.